Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome to Dixie Storytime World. And if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss another story again. Are we ready to listen to The Princess and the Frog? But not as you know it. Once upon a time, there was a princess who didn't behave like a princess. She didn't sit on velvet cushions. She wouldn't wear her crown. The king didn't know what to do with her. You are always jumping about, he said. No prince will want to marry you. I don't want to marry a boring old prince, said the princess. The princess threw her golden ball. Out, shouted the king, pointing at the door. The princess took her ball to the far end of the garden and bounced it up and down. Suddenly, the ball went too far. It landed in the pond. Oh, no, cried the princess. She lay down at the edge of the pond and tried to reach the ball. Come here, ball, she yelled, but the ball was sinking. She thought she would never see it again. If I get your ball, will you play with me? The princess looked up and saw a frog sitting on a lily pad. Certainly, said the princess. The frog hopped off the lily pad and swam away. The frog soon came back with a ball in his mouth. Thank you, said the princess, and she bowed to him. They played hopscotch on the path. This is fun, said the princess, but now I've got to go back to the palace for tea. Please let me come, said the frog. The princess bent down. Okay, she agreed. Hop on my shoulder. When the king opened the door, he threw his hands up in horror. Look at your dirty dress, he said. And who is that? he asked, pointing at her shoulder. Quack, croaked the frog. He's staying for tea, said the princess. He found my ball and I promised to play with him. Hmm, said the king. Well, a promise is a promise, I suppose. The frog jumped onto the table and the princess fed him some cake. His table manners are terrible, said the king. After tea, the frog asked, May I sleep in your room, princess? Tell him no, said the king. But the princess picked up the frog and carried him to her bedroom. She put him in the sink. She loved his big goggle eyes and wide smile. Let's stay friends, she said, and she kissed his silky green nose. Forever, said the frog. Yes, said the princess, forever. And they hopped out of the palace and down to the pond, where they lived happily ever after. So the princess turned into a frog. The end. Thank you for listening. Music